So this video is going to show you how can you use your TI-84 black calculator to graph inequalities and find the feasible region. So I got my example question there. The question asks us to find the region that satisfies all of the following constraints. So in order to input all the inequalities into our calculator, we need to make sure that we only leave Y and sometimes x on the left and move everything else to the right. Okay, let's do the first one together. You think I need to do is to move 5x to the right. Okay, so left I have negative 2y less than or equal to negative 5x plus 20. Okay, on the left I need to use uh, let that divided by 2. So I've got negative 2y divided by negative 2. And when you are dividing a negative number, or times a negative number, the sign need to turn to the opposite. Okay, so we turn that to the opposite because we're dividing, uh, it is divided by a negative number. So it's bigger than or equal to opposite. And I use negative 5x divided by negative 2 as well. Everything needs to divide it by the same number. So divide it by negative Okay, now we can cancel this negative 2 there and we have y left, which is great. y is bigger than or equal to and we can cancel the negative mark. We got 5 on to left and x and plus becomes 2 minus, okay, so minus 10. Okay, so now let's do the second one together, same thing. Then I got 2y is less than or equal to x plus 8. And then I used I need to let both hand side divided by 2 to, to let divide it by 2. Okay, so we cancel this 2. I got y left, y is less than or equal to half x plus 4. Okay, and then we don't need to worry about 3 and 4 because it's very unclear. So I got x is bigger than or equal to 0, and y is bigger than or equal to 0. Okay, just to make things clear, like looks better, I will name the first y as y1, this is my y2, and this is my y3, and this is my x1. So I can distinguish which one is which, because our calculator can only do shade in. So in order to make our calculator to do shade out, we need to input all the inequalities with uh, uh, opposite sign, which means I need to turn this, these constraints further to y1, turn the sign to the, ne uh, to the opposite way, less than or equal to 5 on 2x. Everything else is the same. We just need to turn the sign to tell our calculator that we're doing shit out. And y2 is to turn the sign bigger than or equal to half x plus 4. And then I got my x1, turn the sign is less than or equal to 0. And then I got my y3 is turn the sign as well. So less than or equals to equal to zero. And there we go. So those are the things we need to input in our calculator later. Okay, so first thing we need to do is to click stats and enter. We need to check do we have any existing list. If we do, we need to clear every list, all the lists there. So we go up and highlight our list one I need to clear and enter so I got everything cleared now and then we need to go to second we press second and then stat plot which is y equal okay and now we are checking do I have any stat plots that is turned on so I got two turned on so I need to turn those off Otherwise, you're going to get an error at the end. So 
I click enter and I turn it off and I go back, back click second and start plot. Okay, and go to the second one and enter and choose off, enter and now go back second and start plot. Okay, so now I have everything turned off. Okay, now we need to uh, enter, we need to input all our inequalities in a call letter. By doing that, we need to click apps, which is there, the purple one. So apps, and we need to find something called inequals. So in my calculator is number seven. It can be different in yours. Yeah. And we click into again. Okay, there we go. We are able to input our inequalities in here. By inputting the first one, first thing we need to do is to pick the right side. So we need to highlight the side. And we see several options down there. And we need to find less than or equal to, which is there, right? which is on the top of F3. We need to click alpha and then click zoom, which is F3 as well. So now you can see my sign is turned to less than or equal to. Okay, now we go right and then we need to input everything. Because we cannot input fractions in our black calculator. So brackets, five divided by two, and brackets and x. x is alpha and that one there. You can see the green little x down up there. So that one. Click it. And minus 10. So I got minus 10. Yeah. So when I done this, I click enter. And now I need to input my y2. So same thing. I go left first to pick the right sign. So this one I got is bigger than or equal to, which is there. So we need to click alpha, then F5 or graph. Yet now we have the right sign. So we go right, so we go brackets, one divided by two, brackets, and then alpha and X and plus four. Okay, and now we click enter. And now we do our Y3, Y3 is there. Then I go left and I need to pick the right sign, alpha and F3. So see up there, F3, and I go right, just simply enter zero and enter. So always remember, after you input something, you need to click enter to let our calculator know now we need to do this X. So we need to go up and go up and go up and go up. Because X equals two is on the top corner there. So when we're highlighting the X equals two, we need to click enter. And now I have my X. I have my X one is less than or equal to zero. So same thing, I highlight the sign and I need to choose less than or equal to, which is that one. So I need to click alpha, F3. Okay, there we go. And go right, just simply tap zero there. And enter, always remember to enter. Okay. Now let's go back to my Y. And let's click graph to see what happens. Okay, now the problem is Although I got the correct graph, I got all uh, everything shit out and the required region is in the middle. However, it doesn't look that nice because our X value doesn't have to be that large and our y, y value doesn't have to be that large. So we go to window and we say I got X maximum is 50. We don't need 50. Let's give it um, 15. Should be enough. Okay, now I click enter and go to so y maximum. I give it 15 as well. Okay, now I click enter and now let's try graph again.
it looks much much better is it to me so good okay so now what we want to do is we want to find the intersections which is at the corner uh, the four corners which is there there and there and there in our calculator so by doing that we need to click alpha and then trace so it is pointing to there and we are able to read the value down here so i got the first intersection x equals to seven so it's seven and seven point five I'll give it a name, so intersection A, which is 7, 7.5, there. So on the top, it says it is an uh, intersection by Y1 and Y2. So this is by Y1 and Y2. Okay, by Y1 and Y2. And then I need to find another intersection. I go left intersection so that there i got that one there now i can read my value is four zero okay and it's by y1 and y3 so i copy that down as well okay then we need to find the other two so we need to go up no actually up left yeah there we go so it is pointing that dot which is zero zero is by y3 and x1 and x1 okay so the last one is on top there so we go left to see yeah it's there mm -hmm. and the value is 0, 04 and it's by y2 and x1 y2 and x1 now we got every information we need and now what we need to do is we need to copy exactly everything down on our paper so we need to copy the graph down and we need to mark all the intersection points. Okay, so first thing I need to do is to label uh, my x-axis. So arrow here. And this is my x-axis. We need to label those. And this is my y-axis. Okay, so if we see the intersection points there, we can see that x is, uh, is 7. So which means as long as I leave seven spaces, seven units here, it's fine for me. So I'll give it 10 to make it clear. So this is my zero there. Let's just take that out as well. But here, y is 7.5, the biggest number. So as long as we give it maybe eight spaces, it should be okay. So I will give it 10 as well. Okay and down here as well cool now we need to plot all those intersections up there so i got my a seven seven and a half it is right here 1.5 okay and then we need to find another b is four zero so very easy which is here so, and then i have my c is zero 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 okay which is there and I got my D is zero four. Need to copy exactly there and to link uh, every two dots. That should do. Because on the right hand side, it is shaded out. So I need to shade out as well. Yep. Then I have to link D and A because it's there and there. Okay, so on the calculator, it's shading out to the top part, so we'll do the same as well. So we shade out. That will do. And then I need to shade everything on the left. So all the x less than zero, I need to shade here out. And so that's down here, which is y is less than or equal to zero. So we shade here out. As well. okay. Now it's so clear to me. My required region is in the middle. And I need to say this is my feasible region. Okay, this is uh, the end of the question.